Hello fellow farmers, it's Queso here. Welcome back for another tutorial. These are driven by requests from you folks, so please be sure to comment, send me messages, whatever, um, and ask for specific tutorials if I've already done them. Um, well, be sure to check out my other videos as well. Um, Alright, so this tutorial that I'm going to do today is regarding um, baling hay. So this goes along with my cow video um, as hay and straw are part of the requirements for um, for raising cows. So this is the probably the only reason why you would ever bale um, hay because um, it's a lot of manual work and I, I mean, I have it checked, but I'm, I, I mean, I, I don't even really need to. I know that it's not profitable to buy or to bale hays and then just uh, bale hay and then sell them. So you would only do this to feed your livestock. So I've done a couple things here. You can see I've done some pre-work to save us some time. Um, but this field here, obviously, step one, you're going to need some grass. Now, you could use the grass in between fields and so on and I'm getting lag spikes for some reason I'm not sure why um, really bad lag okay and so you could use the grass in between fields but quite honestly it's not enough um, uh, so you're gonna need um, fields um, to plant so basically take a field, and I suggest a large field because I, t I talked about this in my silage video that corn has a lot more volume to it, uh, so I always prefer to use corn or maize, uh, the chopped up corn, to make my silage <coughs> because you get more per acreage. That's all. So grab a field, um, grab any cedar in this case here. This is just one of my tutorial or my tutorial world where I hack the game file just so I had one person ask how did I get eight million or ten million dollars I just simply go into the file and the XML file and change the the money value um, anyway so grab a field grab a cedar and see the icon there on the right hand side that's sear seed so all you need to do is just go and get your your field um, planted with grass so that's what this guy's doing. I want to point out um, here's where you can see how the grass here is nice and flat and clean. That means because there's no grass growing on it, whereas this stuff here is nice and long. And this is the length and thickness of of the grass when it's all mature. The other side of it is, <coughs> or the other way you can tell is on your uh, map view, you'll see that um, it's either growing or mature. So see this is the field here, number 15, we just planted that one row, and it's yellow, meaning that it's first stage of growing. The other field here that I've already mowed um, is growing back again already, so that's why uh, or when we get over there you're going to see that um, that it causes uh, or that there, there's grass growing up in the mowed stuff. So I'll show you what a freshly mowed field looks like. Uh, again, I'm using this big uh, crone mower. It's um, definitely efficient because it's so wide and you need a lot of grass to, to uh, um, for baling and, and whatnot. So the bigger and because it's all manual, the bigger the mower, the better. So again, I would suggest um, you can do it without it. You could do use the little guy, but it go that goes way too slow. So anyway, you can see here's what freshly mowed grass looks like. It's green. There's nothing um, in the way or nothing growing up in the middle of it. Um, that's fresh cut grass. That's the stuff that makes your eyes water if you've got hay fever. Okay, so while I'm here, I do want to talk about um, fertilizer. Fertilizer does not affect grass, from what I can tell. I did that by... I guess I'll just dab over to see quicker. Um, I did that by using this... or uh, spraying the, the uh, right side of this field. Um, to my right as I'm running down here. And then I just did one... I did a s one strip... 
uh, mowing, and then I picked it up with the forge wagon. So I, d I also mentioned this in my straw video, uh, baling straw, that if you just want to sell this stuff, don't waste your money buying the equipment to bale it. Grab a forge wagon, and all I have to do is drive over it. So I had a strip here now on the left, and then I did a strip like this on the right and picked them up, and the values were the same. So don't waste your time uh, fertilizing fields of grass. It doesn't make any difference. So um, you can, all you got to do to forge to do the forging is just drive over it. Speed control number two. There's not too many things in this game that you can do at a th speed level three with equipment turned on. Um, so you'll uh, uh, just remember that most of the stuff is done at a level two. Okay. So after you've got your grass mode, and of course uh, you can see that the grass again, just to recap, is a green color. You need to dry your grass. So that's where this comes into play. Now I do want to actually I should mention uh, before I ted this, these are called tedders. Before I ted the grass, if I think that's the the verb, um, I do want to mention that the big crone can do a wide mowing. Um, oh, I disconnected the trailer. Let me back up. It can do a wide mower mow or a compact mow, which is what I've got here. These rows are all compacted into a nice small little um, value or uh, row. <coughs> Unless you're foraging, I wouldn't waste your time. I mean, there's no waste in time. Uh, it's easier to see where you've cut when you use the wide mowing, like I did here. I did this from the back of the tether there all the way over to the front of the tractor. Friggin' lag. Here. So I did all of this as a widespreading, and I'm going to talk about that too. So I did a test, because um, you have to ted your grass to turn it dry. So let's go actually do that first, and I'll show you. So I've got the the grass mode, and now I'm going to turn this puppy on. And you can see that the cut grass there is already turning brown. So all you do, and again, this is all manual. You can't hire somebody for it, unfortunately. But you just drive over the the cut grass, and it turns it brown. Now, when you compact the rows, you see that it does actually spread it out some. Uh, we're not getting that on with this left-hand path because it's on the edge of the tether. But... Um, it would spread it out some. Yeah, so you can see that it's starting to spread out. So, even if you cut the grass in, and uh, in the compact rows, it's going to spread it out some. So, I just for the sake of being able to uh, see where you've mowed, um, I would d just do wide mowing. Um, it'll also help with the next step, which is after you've get you've you just run over the grass and it dry and it flips it over and makes it dry. Now, in real life, obviously, you would need that grass to stay out uh, in the uh, air for a while before it actually dries. Uh, I don't know if they can bale it wet and then allow it to dry in bales, but it doesn't work like that anyway in the game. So. The balers won't even pick up the green grass, so you have to um, to do the tedding. Okay, so that's so that's that. So this whole field here has been cut and tedded. Um, so now I, I want before I do the the um, the next step, which is making it in using the wind rower, I want to talk about this. So what I did is I ran over the field. Um, on the widespread, so you can see that strip right behind the baler. I just ran down the field once, and I got about 2,300 um, liters of hay, but when I ran over a tedded spot, this one here, which so this was one of those compacted rows, 
I got a full bale and then 580 liters as well. So, my point is, com the compact mowing does um, compact the actual grass. So there is more there. It's not just a visual thing. Um, so, yes, if you weren't going to um, use the wind rower, then you you know do the compacting because you could get away without buying a windrower. You could just buy a tether and then use the like do the compact mowing, and it would even work with the small little pro hiffler or whatever the little mower with the useless one that's so small. Anyway, you could um, use the big crone mower, do the compact row all the way down, run your tether down it, and then just run your baler. So actually, we did that over here. So, um, if we wanted to save money and not buy a wind rower, so you could come here and just do, you know, like this row here has was a, a compact row, and we could just go and pick up pick this stuff up and collect it. However, as you see, the well, let me just do some, and I'll show you the bale the baling row. So we just turn it on with a B. The baling row is actually quite narrow, so it's going to take you two or three passes, well no, three, maybe four passes just to pick up this one row. Um, so, and because it's all manual, that's time. Okay, so t it, it just takes time to do it. So what they did, they added, they've added another tool in the game, and of course this is mimicking real life, these wind rowers. And so what the wind rower does, we're just going to unfold it, the wind rower will take the dry grass and put it in one single pile. So it'll do a, take a wide area and compact it back into a single row just like the mower does. So as you can see it puts it in a nice thin line and then what has a thin pickup line? The baler. Right? So all you, so you take that big wide area and it will see it more so when we go over in the grass that hasn't been um, or that's wide widespread cut uh, you'll see here I'll just continue to the end and I'm going to do two passes I'm going to go back and do it down the middle as well do down that middle one so if you're p inputting um, like if the wind rower was going over all grass obviously that compacted row is going to have more volume so we only had done a little strip and I had already taken some out of it from the, from baling, so don't don't use the numbers that we're going to get from the baler um, to judge which way is better. But so you can see here, it, it's it's compacting that big wide row together and giving us a nice uh, nice strip. So what I would suggest is getting a big field like this, mowing it with wide mode tedding it, because the tether is actually quite wide, just run down the field, it'll take you probably five, six passes, and then um, run it, run down with this guy, it'll, you know, obviously compact it into smaller rows, which are bale ready, and I apologize again for the lag that's happening here. Um, so you can see, there we go, we're getting... And I'm not normally this messy. This is just how um, how it is because I I was doing some testing and and showing you guys different different ways. But normally this would be nice and clean looking, and the grass wouldn't be growing growing up already. So you can see here's a good example of this row right here that my camera is pathing in. No, nope, now it's grown in. It wasn't grown in. Yeah. See, this isn't this part of the field hasn't grown. So you it, grass is weird. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't grow at a proper or an interesting, uh, what am I saying, at a consistent um, growth consistency, I guess, not like crops. So, um, again, you can also uh, round bale or square, s square bale. I have a problem saying that. I did that in my straw video, too. Um, square bale. Uh, so, again, you just turn on your bale or baler and drive over your uh, cut and dried grass. So you can see this fills up. I don't see the need t 
to use a, a round bale for the hay. Um, although I am going to do one because I've actually never um, baled, round baled uh, grass before. <coughs> B simply because I use my grass for my cows. And I use the, uh, if you've watched my cow video, you'll notice that I use two straw and one hay bale and then topped it up with silage and which gave me the hundred percent productivity so it's a really simple ratio why would I go and mess with it um, the volume of that mixer isn't very large so because it's a at least it's a two to one at least two to one straw to hay I uh, wouldn't use a big round um, uh, bay of hail because hay because I would need um, two of these two of those big roundies in uh, in the silage mixer anyway so there you go there's um, that round bale in my opinion it's a waste of time to use the round baler in any situation so I never own one or buy one um, okay so I'm going to just drive up and down this field and get us some some bale. So y this okay. This is I don't think this is a a row that I compacted. No. So you'll watch the percentage doesn't go up a very fast when you're going through a row that hasn't been um, windrowed because it compacts the volume. So this one here has there's more volume, and you'll notice that the percentage is increasing dramatically look at it look at it go it's like skyrockets so that's why you would want to wind row your your grass and you can see them now I've because I've already done I think that's the third bale you, it's now starting to come out so that's again like straw it takes three bales before you'll actually um, see one pop out on the ground I assume that's mainly just because it's um, you know, it's compacting their space, but uh, it, it's a little bit frustrating when, with the round bale, you just can do one and unload it, but anyway, that's the way the game works. So, I see this here, I didn't TED, and look, see this, the uh, percentage, it doesn't go up very much, so it's, or sorry, not TED, but Winrow. So it's very, very um, efficient. You're going to do less passes up the field if you do the wind rowing, and you'll get your bales um, faster. And then, of course, at the end of it, once you've got all everything all all baled, and uh, you can just go ahead and um, pick them up and collect them. And then again, I'm going to show that just because I uh, I showed it in my straw bale, but or straw video, but you may not have may not have watched that one, so. Again, yeah, you can see here, this is much more um, efficient to pick up on the wind road uh, rows. Alright, so there's that one. Now, to pick it up, again, like I said, you can use the forklift. I'm not going into those. I think they're a waste of time. Save your money. Um, raise sheep to and sell their wool to get your money and the re it's actually the most profitable thing in the game because there's no limit on how many livestock you can have and uh, so you can actually produce a whole pallet of wool in one growth um, cycle which is like 20, 20 in game minutes um, so when you speed up the clock you can have that in a couple seconds and that's on normal it's about five thousand dollars per um, her uh, uh, pallet. Anyway, I digress. But you can raise your money and then buy this equipment. So, this is one of the items that you can drive at speed level 3, and it'll pick it up. So you saw that. I'm driving at speed 3, and it just picks up the, the bale. So, if I did this field properly, I could probably more than fill this one trailer. Um, but I didn't. I was doing different... Uh, methods for you. So, to recap, don't you don't need to fertilize your grass. Uh, just cut it with widespread um, on the big crone. 
because you're going to TED it and it's going to spread. Um, so that's O. So you're going to click on it so that it says Enable Swath Deposit, which is the big wide stuff. So I'll show you that right quick. Because I didn't actually show it. I had already done it on that big field. Um, what is it? There we go. It was stuck in some weird state. So this is what widespread does. It just a big huge strip down the field and like I said it's so much easier to in, to see where you've mowed. You're like, oh okay, I've already mowed on that section and I'll go and you know overlap just a little bit to make sure I get the whole thing. So widespread mowing, then TED the thing, and it'll dry the the whole thing and then wind row it to put it in a nice compact rows and then when you bail it the bales produce much faster and overall it's a much faster process because you can only go at speed level two for these things mowing and packing and wind rowing and tedding um, so you'll uh, just save yourself time and passes down the the field so I hope that's it I covered everything that I can think of I know I'm a little bit over the place but I wanted to cover all the scenarios in case people had questions um, oh yeah and then I guess so after you've got a t wind road into nice compact rows square bail it don't waste your time with round bales and we use this trailer to pick up the bales it's so much less frustrating and um, yeah just like I said save your bales and get uh, for, for the cow stuff, that's really the only reason why you should be baling hay and straws for cows. Again, if you're going to just sell it to get ri to get the extra money, just get a forage wagon like this. Don't even bother drying the grass. Again, that'll save you money. Um, in fact, well, I guess you'd be using this for sheep. So that's one of the things I do: high volume sheep. I still have to do that video. Um, is I just use the crone co and mow into these co uh, compact, uh, I guess I call them swath um, rows, and then I just pick it up at the forge wagon and then dump it in. So you're not going to plant grass to make money because there's no place to actually sell the grass, I don't believe. Um, <coughs> so anyway, that's it. I hope that helps. Um, give it some likes, some subscribes would be great, and sh share it. Share it with your friends, share it with uh, your different uh, community sites, and uh, message me comments if you have anything, any questions. Alright, later guys. Bye.